Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey, 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 hey. Hello, foodie booties. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Poe, and welcome back to our channel. And before we even get into anything, since I just introduced Poe, every time that I just have Poe hanging out here, uh, people are like, oh my god, where's Judy? Where's Judy? Did something happen to Judy? And then it's like, literally, like, five minutes later in the video, I show Judy as well. So, <laughs> sometimes he's just like, already chilling here when I'm getting ready to, to film a video and I'm like, I'm not going to move him. Sometimes I do, but in a video like this where you're about to see me like going about my apartment, I feel pretty confident Judy will make an appearance at some point. So Poe's just gonna hang out right there, okay? <laughs> All right. This is gonna be, I mean, at least at the beginning of this video, this is gonna be like the first time I've talked about foodie booty on my channel in a long time and honestly we're not even going to talk that much about her because quite frankly I have like a lot of concerns for like where she's at in life, the people she's surrounding herself, the substances she's surrounding herself with and that's not really of interest to me. I will say last night in, in one of her live streams, I did, <laughs> I did play Mario Kart with her. If you notice, there was a little me with, with purple hair. That was me, that was me. She kept asking like, oh, is that the real Zachary Michael? What do you think, Marissa? I think it is Zachary. <laughs> well, everyone's welcome to play. Doesn't matter who you are. Iris, I think Zachary is Zachary Michael, because the, the name is Zachary M. <laughs> Zach, is that you? Confirm. Well, so now y'all can like, go let her know it was in fact the one, the only world famous YouTuber, <laughs> Zachary Michael, playing Mario Kart with, with Chantal for Annie P's birthday. However, one of the other things that I thought might be interesting to take a look at is the, the other day, I think this was maybe Friday, Saturday, I don't know, it literally all blurs together when it comes to Chantal Marie, Chantal Show, Chantopolis, Big Beautiful Me, The Daily Chantal. Foodie booty, every day blurs together at this point. She was like streaming for like 12 hours the other day. <laughs> like, I just don't know how she does it. I don't know, but I noticed she did a clean stream, which is not the first time she's ever done that. Like she does clean on stream frequently. And she was cleaning out her fridge. And well, let me, I'm just gonna show you the clip. I'm probably not gonna have a boyfriend after this. <laughs> Actually, he saw it. Okay, here we go. You might not have a roommate after this. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> you ready? You ready? <laughs> I can't fucking do it. Oh! Oh my god! Ah! Okay. Oh God, hold on a minute. Oh. Bad, bad shape. Oh. <laughs> Someone in my Jesus fucking Christ, you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Scrape in the mold. I'm gonna throw up. Oh my God. Oh, I'm gonna puke. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna soak it for like 10 hours. Can y'all believe, can y'all believe, like, I, I, I should have, uh, I'll, I'll make sure to add in also like a, like, content warning in case that was something y'all didn't want to see. But oh my gosh, guys, oh my gosh. It was so much, and of course I saw it all over Twitter as well, like, Everybody posts on all kinds of things. And honestly, when it comes to like images from Chantal's streams getting posted on my stream, and by my stream, I mean my Twitter feed, 
Not the worst thing I've seen. Not the worst thing by any means. But it, it was quite alarming. And I was just like, wow, this motivates me so much to go clean my own space and do so much because it's like, that's goals for what I don't want to do in life. And I do also want to say, like, I, I have, I think I've already acknowledged so far in this video that I think that Chantal is not in the good place, okay? She's, I think she's got a lot of competing things that are happening, and I'm certainly no therapist, psychiatrist, etc. to diagnose anything, but, like, I would imagine that she's going through a lot mentally, whether you agree with that or not, okay? So I do want to say, because I know a lot of people watching may have been in a place where they were struggling with their mental health, where they didn't feel like cleaning, they didn't feel like taking care of their space, and that is a symptom of folks who are struggling with uh, mental health, whether it's depression, bipolar disorder, etc. Okay, like people do struggle with maintaining their homes when it comes to struggling with their mental health. So I, I don't want to like take the piss out of that. I do think it's serious, but I feel, I feel very inspired to give you um, some cleaning tutorials, a little clean with me motivation, and, and maybe also motivate Chantal as well. I don't know. I'm not, I, let's be honest, I'm not a motivator, but I do think that it might be helpful to get a little tutorial on how to clean your dishes. I may, depending on, you know, how much time that takes me, I may consider even doing some other other housework, other chores around the house. I mean, I know I got laundry to do. If y'all could see the studio, it's like organized chaos. And what I mean by that is like, it's organized to me, but other people are probably gonna find it to be chaotic. So maybe I'll show you that. Also, maybe it'll just be the dishes. We'll see. We will see. But I thought this would be fun to take you along, enjoy the journey, and inspire any of you who, like me, saw that pot, saw that dish filled with mold, and said, wow, I can't let this happen. I can't let this happen in my home. So, let's get to, let's get to. All right, here's the dishes situation we're working with. You can see here that actually we had some dishes from last night. Noel made some pasta and actually Noel started cleaning said dishes. And then I was like, Noel, I got an idea for a video. Don't, don't finish all of the dishes. <laughs> so step one to, you know, doing your dishes, like life hack is just have a partner who will do them for you. I could have saved myself all this trouble and just let no, I'll do them to begin with, but I didn't because I wanted to make this video, this life hack video. Okay, so, so that's step one. Step two to avoiding mold. This is a good life hack as well. If you want to avoid moldy pots and pans sitting in your refrigerator is wash them immediately. Now, some of these, well, this is for my lunch today, but some of this stuff in here, okay? Some of this, like... This, this pan right here, this was from, we did like a, a baked little ziti, well it wasn't ziti, I think we had penne pasta, but a little baked pasta moment in this thing, okay? Should have probably washed it immediately, but at a minimum we put it in the sink to soak, okay? So that's another life hack. Okay, another life hack. Now this is this is an additional life hack. Now I know not everybody has a dishwasher, but this is the, the biggest, the biggest life hack is just put everything in your dishwasher. So we'll do some of that as well. Those are my top three life hack tips when it comes to avoiding, avoiding mold just to begin with, you know? I, I don't know if any of y'all can relate to that. And then I just want to share this since we're since we're in my kitchen and we're by the sink. This is this is a gift that Noel got for me whenever I don't know, like whenever we first started dating. Very cute. Actually, uh, Noel had their friend make these little like handwritten calligraphy little things, moments, situation types of deals. I don't know what I'm doing with my fingers, so my apologies. Uh, but these are all lines from musicals that, that we love. This one is from Dear Evan Hansen. This is from Spring Awakening. This is from Come From Away. And this is from 
the critically acclaimed musical Legally Blonde the musical. And those are all some of my favorite musicals in case you were wondering, nobody asked, but this is what I look at when I do dishes. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take everything out of here that can go in the dishwasher and put it there. We might rinse some stuff off just to be safe, but we're gonna move the, the dishwasher items over into the dishwasher and then after I'm done recording and stuff because our dishwasher is loud, I'll run the dishwasher. So I got everything moved into the dishwasher that could go in the dishwasher. We don't, we hand wash our metal, our metal, this is clearly wood. Uh, we hand wash our wood things and usually pots and pans we also hand wash as well. So I don't fill up usually the whole, the whole sink, especially when I'm just doing like three pots and pans, you know? Um, so I just I just run what I need and we just get in there now this this particular pan Literally, I am washing this right away. I cooked my lunch in it. I just like kind of I don't know what you would call it I do this thing where I just like put cauliflower in a pan and I guess fry it because I put it with oil it, like drizzle some olive oil on it It's like kind of a fry and a steam because I put a lid on it so that that it steams and whatnot but yeah, and then I add some like taco seasoning and I have some like pre-made taco meat that I add to it. So it's kind of like a little, a little taco bowl situation. I don't know, actually, I know that there's also like actually a market on YouTube for people that just watch people do cleaning videos. I follow a lot of like moms, <laughs> moms on YouTube who do like, well, I started following because they do a lot of them did Dollar Tree hauls, and then that slowly turned into me watching them do grocery hauls. Uh, some of the people I watch are Jen Chapin, Frugal Fit Mom. I think this is, I think this is good. We could probably, we could probably put this in here. Actually, Jen and, and Frugal Fit Mom don't really do Dollar Tree hauls. The Dollar Tree moms were like, Lemonade Mom, Fifty Shades of Mom. Lots of people with mom in the title of their channel. I'm not entirely sure what we made in this. This might have been something that Noel specifically cooked and not me. Oh, actually, you know what this is? With our, with our baked pasta last night, we also had some roasted broccoli. And I think that the broccoli was probably roasted in this. Noel did all the cooking, let me be clear about that. And then this one is probably the one most likely to have stuff stuck on it, although because we soaked it right away, like there's nothing stuck on here. There's there's no mold, as you can see, or I hope you can see that. And you just wash, wash, wash. You just wash, wash, wash. Probably should have taken my Fitbit off because I'm splashing water all over the place. Wow, and there you have it. How to not have a moldy pan when all is said and done. And then I just like set it aside to dry and voila, there you have it people. Here's the very important Judy footage I promised. This is usually where she's posted all day, every day. She just lays here, <laughs> lays here right on the couch. She likes to find a crevice as you can see. She loves the crevice, but I just didn't want y'all to think I forgot about Judy. She just prefers to just chill, whereas Poe follows me around everywhere, all day, is constantly moving, never stops moving. This is where she likes to go, 
right here. My dummy thick head already started the dishwasher even though I wasn't done filming, even though I told you I wasn't gonna start it until I was done filming. Uh, so here we are at our laundry washer and dryer machines. And I'm not gonna show you the entire process of me doing laundry because that would be boring, but you know, this is, this is to inspire you to do what is needed around the home and I need to do laundry, you know, you feel me? So I just, I'm gonna share this with you. This is, this is our moment together. We use these guys, which you shouldn't eat. If you remember that very cool viral trend, don't do it. And we just use these for our for our washer. I don't know why this feels important to tell you, but I feel like that's what the Dollar Tree moms would do. So <laughs> I'm gonna do it right now. Oh, these are big. These are big. They are not. This is a new a new box. I think we did not intend to buy the ones that are this big. And then here's my laundry hamper full of full of my laundry. I usually do this like if this whole thing is full, I usually do like two whole loads. What do you know about two whole loads? <laughs> Now I'm probably also not going to do all of my laundry with you on camera because, well, Noel has some, some stuff in the dryer. But I guess the point is, is that it's all about getting started for me because once it's started, it's over, you know? This is also such an uncomfortable position <laughs> to be in. I don't know why I'm like trying to straighten. I'm literally six foot two, y'all. I'm too tall for this shit. And I also didn't flip up the thing so I could see what what y'all are seeing. So you could be just seeing the sliver of my head right now. But that's okay, because we got our laundry started, we did our dishes, and I'm gonna let me show you also <laughs> my studio. I'm not sure if today's the day for that, but a lot of y'all have asked to see what I work in. And you know what? We might we might have to save the cleaning of the studio for another day. But I'll, I'll show you what we're working with in there. Okay, y'all, so this is my studio, for better or worse. Um, bless Noel for helping me put up all of this, like, sound, acoustic stuff on the wall. For a long time, people are like, there were people that were in my comments that were like, Zach, you need, you need a better microphone. All I hear is echoing. I'm like, it's not the microphone. I mean, you can see I do in fact have a microphone <laughs> right here. It's not, it's not the microphone. It was literally that this, this room was bare. This room had nothing on the walls. So we got a bunch of like acoustic treatments to help. You can also see I do have fancy lighting. And then it's just like chaos. The back of this actually, I wish somebody would come help me organize all these cords. <laughs> I try not to look at it. And to be honest, I don't have to look at it most days. And then I just have all this shit laying on the floor. Like, what is this about? That's all my nail polish. Like, look at all of this. I need a better way to organize this at this point. There's, it's no longer fitting in the bag, but these are the two new colors I just got from Hollow Taco. I can't wait to use those. That's probably what I'll do maybe later today. I have this bookshelf, which people ask a lot of questions about also. Um, this is RM, <laughs> this is RM from BTS. These are my Furby babies. This paddle, I have a whole video where I explain what that's about. And honestly, and maybe, maybe we'll wait to do a studio thing until I have it, but I honestly wanna get like a bigger bookshelf to like go in this space. Cause let's be honest, this does look, this one little single bookshelf does look silly. <laughs> Just like standing on its own in the background. So I'd like to redo that as well. And then obviously there's the chair that Judy and Poe sit in. A lot of people are like, you need another chair. And honestly, what I think I need is just to bring like a dog bed or something in here. Cause I'm gonna be honest, when they're both in here, one of them usually is in here or they knock 
the blanket to the ground and they curl up in that. And then the other one comes to this <laughs> little nightmare of a pile of, of whoever, whatever. Like, I got a scarf, a cardigan, a shirt in here. This is like all stuff that I've like worn in videos before. You, you got the Chantal puppet hanging out over here. Some other random papers and things like that. You got my, you got my diploma in this box over here. Things like that. I, I'm gotta make sure when I watch this back, I don't, don't accidentally dox myself. There's all kinds of stuff with my, my info on it over here. Oh, I got all of these, these extra, these little extra holiday cards from last year that I didn't like. I got, I ordered too many. I have too many. Maybe I'll send them out again this year. <laughs> But look at us, we're so cute. Actually, I can't because this was before, this was before we had Poe. But yeah, I just have all this stuff and I just, it needs organized. It <laughs> needs organized. And that's not even the start of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, then there's like inside of these, these drawers, there's all kinds of stuff, you know? There's just like papers and things. It's just, it's just wild. It's wild in here. So I don't know, that might have to be a whole different thing. Oh, also look, I, speaking of Jen Chapin, she sent me, she's one of the moms I watch and she sent me her cookbook that she has. So you can, I think you can maybe get it on Amazon. I don't know for sure, uh, but I guess go check it out. Go check out her channel. I'm sure she tells people how to find it there. Also people ask me all the time about the books that are on my, on my shelf and they're just like actually a, random assortment of books that I've gotten over time. Some of them are gay. So these down here are primarily, well, this is Animal Crossing, but these down here are primarily like these big thick books or textbooks that I had in grad school. So yeah, there you go. Okay, y'all, so that was it. You might even be able to still hear <laughs> the washer happening outside. It's literally right outside my <laughs> my studio. So you might be able to still hear that but I hope you found this to be somewhat inspiring. I know a lot of people also ask me to do things like vlog and stuff like that, but I don't, I mean, I do like to draw some kind of, like this is it, really a vlog channel, but I do like sharing things. So if this is something that like you enjoyed seeing a little bit more about, about my day-to-day -day life, if you'd like to see a, a, a studio clean with me moment, let me know. <laughs> Let me know. I don't know. I just, I also, let's be honest, I'm also just being a little bit silly today, but I was, I was inspired to clean from our girl foodie booty this weekend, so I hope you are inspired to clean now as well. Um, if this is your first video on my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing, uh, click the bell button so you get notifications when I post more videos, and also leave me a comment, hit like, and click share to share with all of your friends who need this cleaning inspiration. Also, please feel free to follow me on all of my social media. I had so much fun with y'all today. I hope you did too, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!